What's up guys and girls, welcome back to a new episode of Heroes of Dragon Age. My name is Mikkel and I am from Denmark. In this episode, as the guild wanted, we, we made 500k gold at least to see what kind of legendaries we are gonna get. So 500,000 gold equals to like 20 packs and you should get a legendary out of the packs. So let's see how lucky I can be. There was a guy who got two legendaries in 500k. Let's see how many legendaries we can get. As you see, the price is 25k divided by 500. 500k divided by 25 is 20 packs. So let's open up 20 packs. When it's 144,000, I will stop because then it will not count. So let's go and hopefully we get a two star or a three star Leji. I just want an OP one. Come on, man. Come on, man. Just this once. So first run, we get a rare, forget about that. Two out of two, uh, epic. We get a rare, third, our fourth, fifth card. Yes, I got Loken, man. I needed this card for my three star legendary. So I am fucking happy for this one. Finally, I got you, you mother beep. So we got the first one. That means I already spent like 300k before. But let's go and see if we get lucky and get more. Greens. This guy, he definitely gonna go up. All these other units are just food. We don't need them. Epic. Rare. Rare. Another epic. Come on, we just, we have 150k left. Six packs. We got a lot of epics, so that's not bad. For the price of 25,000 gold, it's better than buying the 10 packs. Buying 10 packs or spending 38, uh, how to say it? 38 gems to get a rare is just bullshit. So this is gonna be our last package. Let's hopefully get a legendary. Whoops, we're gonna buy. We're gonna skip. And we got a corrupted knock, but we got a power room, which is pretty useful in the PvP event. So we got a new Logan. Let's see what we can do with him. Let's 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 get him up a little bit. Put him on the team with my other team and my other girls. It's my seven team right here. I'm thinking about I got this unit to uh, to tier three and I know it's gonna take a hell a lot of time to get it to tier four. So I'm thinking about getting one of these uh, consume together with this one so it's gonna be in tier 4 right away I don't think I'm gonna use this kind of team with three of the Marians a hawk sorry Garrett hawk no three Marians and one Garrett I think it's enough I got this guy to level yeah tier 1 this is in tier 1 no, this behind is tier 3 oh I'm so confused but let's get the new hero inside, newest hero. I know he helps out. So we just need to take one of these out. Level 30, level 31. Let's get the level 30 out. Here we go, baby. And this guy help out attacks and range power from an enemy. 50% power dream resist for allies. 25% power and help for warriors and outlaws. They are warriors or outlaws? They are both warriors and outlaws. So that's perfect. So this team, they just gonna get each other even better. So let's get this guy a little bit up with the units I just got, or I will just use all the rares. And guys, please write down what you get in a 500,000 packs. What kind of legendary? I'm very, very, very happy for the legendary I just got because I've, <laughs> I've been missing this guy, man. I haven't had this guy for a very long time. I've been playing for like three years and haven't got him. And I know a lot of people got him a long time ago. So let's see how far we can get him, how good he can be. Before we go out for a fight, we're definitely gonna go out and try him out. And gonna go out and see how much extra power and health the other cards gonna get combined with this one. The only one I am missing right now to fulfill the team. Oh, what was his name? I don't even remember the last. Yo, King King Merrick. I need King Merrick very bad. He need to come on this team as well. 
but I think this team gonna be very strong with my dragon which give also 50% uh, extra power to white faction and 50% health these guys gonna be some beast so let's consume as much as we can we can only take five at a time hopefully one day they make it so you can consume all the rares at one time instead of we are doing like this dummy it's like waste of time this is had been like this for very 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 long time even until they introduce this shit how about change it how big it make it easier for us users to consume or do anything or recommendations anything i also wish then when you are choosing a team, it's not gonna say red faction, white faction, blue faction, but there should be a tab called groups. And then you can put it out from the groups. So that would be nice. So I see we can get him to tier two. He's not so strong right now. He's only in level 25 in the second. So we got him almost in tier two. He gonna change looks in a second. So look at him, how he look right now because the next consumination is the new creation of a new unit. Boom. So he got a little bit different. I don't see the difference, but I guess later on when he get in tier three or four, he will definitely get up. Okay, forget about him. Let's get one of the other guys, the three star, the guy, which I have in front to tier two as well if it's possible as you see i got a lot of fucking legendaries very many 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 there we go this guy is only tier one let's give him the last 41 uh verse to get him up so he can get some double damage as well bigger chance to get double damage so we're just gonna consume 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 and in the end, we're gonna do some fights because there is a PvP event right now. And I even think I didn't make a video yesterday. It's the Chandry team, which is buffed to 300% health and power. So of course I'm using a Chandry team, but I think this team, it can beat some of the other teams which are not using Chandry team because they are three stars. And of course a one star Logan. But the Logan is a big, big, big plus to the deck. I really wanted the Logan for a long time. I see it's not possible to get him to tier two. So we just take him in tier one, but at least he's 6%, he's level 39. Let's go, let's see, this is the new team. I really want to make this team very strong. Let's go for a fight right now. I'm 1,332. That means I have been playing a little bit. I haven't spent any gems on this. I try not to spend gems on this kind of PvP event. I rather spend gems when we have guild events. Last time we became uh, first, but we have looked at. We had of course 400 some place. And last time we got 200. So it's getting much better. Advisor Colin, this looked like a team I will not fight. This is too strong, but maybe I should have used my Chandry team. But the point is we want to try this out. This is too strong a team as well. And it will be waste to just go. Let's see this guy. He can take the back row with ease. Okay, but it's a lot of points. So let me take my Uber team, which is pretty good. Works pretty fine. We got two guys which gains power every time they get hit so it should be very easy to win against this team they got no chance because look at now boom one hit two hit and bye bye hundred ten thousand in damage for the advisor colin which is only a one star hero he got his his name is advisor colin right let me see no knight captain colin the advisor calling is a three star. So this, this is better. This we should definitely take down and get some XP with this team. And I think we should go, I know slow, it's very slow, but I wanna see the animation of the Logan. I never look at that when I play against people with Logan. Oh, it's simple. It just look like we're just gonna take those out once at a time. 
Hopefully, FEO will not do anything bad to us. No, he died before he could do anything. So that's beautiful, we finish it off. This unit cannot do anything other than heal itself, but it doesn't attack, so we are out and we win. So we, we climb up the ladder, we are even higher up now. We have 1370. Boom, let's see this. Let's go with the first team, just to make a difference. This is a clean champion team, they affect everybody each other. Let's go for a fight. This is gonna be the last fight, guys. I really want, please, guys, if you watch this long and you see the end of my videos, please comment below. Please text me what kind of uh, legendaries you have got from the 25K packs. I haven't got any, you know, I think even I got, maybe I got a three star legendary from that pack before. Oh, I got Logan as well. So that's good. And he's just like, lol, 150K gold and one legend, Logan. Well, Logan is not bad. So congratulations, my guild member. And again, guys, if you wanna join the guild, this is the guild name OG space Mew DK. We do have a lot of guys which are active. As you see, there is nobody, only one guy who haven't been online one day. It's okay, it's weekend, we have a life. Other than playing Heroes of Dragon Age. So again, guys, there was a 500K Video I will make every time I make 500 or maybe I should make 1 million gold. Uh, to give you advice how to make gold as fast as possible, you can go into the quest. I guess you guys have a lot of these banshees playing. If you play this one and go to the hero bracket, do you have runes? Yesterday I used, spent, I used 45 minutes to get 200,000 gold. What I did was taking two of these, Rune of Greed, legendary, they get 50% gold extra. I had two of them. I ran for uh, 45 minutes and I managed to get more than 200,000 gold. It's almost 20,000 gold each run. So if you wanna grind, do the PVP event. I know the enemies of Steven sorry, gives more than 20K in the end. So every time you run once, it's 20,000 gold. This is the fastest way to get gold. So this was my last tips for you. Have a good day. Thank you for watching. See you soon, guys, again. Peace.